All right, in order to simplify this rational expression, we'll have to follow the order of operations. Keep in mind that this fraction bar or division bar is a grouping symbol as well as something that indicates that the numerator will eventually be divided by the denominator. Okay, so up top we have a negative 6, negative 4 times a negative 2. By default, this is addition or subtraction. This is definitely multiplication because you have a number next to a grouping symbol next to parentheses. So negative 4 times negative 2 yields a positive 8. Usually when you write positive 8, you don't worry about putting a plus sign or a positive in front of it. Um, but look what happens if you don't indicate that. Once I've decided what to do, that's the first thing I write on the next line. Bring down the fraction bar. And then I'll bring down whatever else I haven't used. I haven't used this negative 6, so the negative 6 comes down. If I don't put a positive in front of the 8, there's nothing indicating what operation is supposed to take place. Okay, So I said negative 4 times negative 2 yields a positive 8. And now by default, at this point, it's addition or subtraction because no other operation is indicated. Okay. Um, I'll address the bottom right now. Uh, negative 2 times negative 4 yields a positive 8. And we'll bring down whatever we haven't used. This 4 hasn't been used. And then for our next step, um, in the numerator, the signs are different. We subtract, keep the sign of the larger. So we get 2. In the denominator, the signs are the same, so we add and keep the sign. We get 12. And then this can be simplified, 2 twelfths. You can divide by 2, divide by 2, so you get 1 sixth. Might be coming off the screen a little. All right, if you're a little confused about the step I took here where I said that's a negative 4 times a negative 2, yielding a positive 8, um, if you want to understand how I'm reading that, I have a video that does explain it. Slide this in here. If you go into Blackboard and you look for... Um, the button over here on the side, I know you can't read it. It says Unit 1 Worksheet and YouTube. That's what the button is. You click on that. And then the video is right here. And again, I know you can't read that. But it says Video Introduction to Integer Sum and Difference of Two Numbers and Many Numbers. And basically, I explain how to read the shorthand of mathematics so you can understand that addition or subtraction is indicated by default. Um, if you don't want to go that route, if you had said that it's just 4 times a negative 2, you would get positive times a negative. That would be negative 8. And then you would bring down whatever you hadn't touched. Well, in that case, you wouldn't have used that negative sign or minus sign. Those words are interchangeable. And you wouldn't have used the negative 6. Um, I don't know how you prefer to proceed from here, but you've got two negative signs. So one way or another, this numerator is going to end up with the same operation it's indicated here. When you put these two numbers together, you're going to get a 2. All right, and I'll just help you out as with the denominator as well. If you just said 2 times negative 4, you would have negative 8, and then you would bring down whatever you hadn't touched, that negative sign or minus sign if you prefer. And then you would also bring down the 4. Okay, from here, I don't know how you like to proceed. I don't go down this road, so I'm not going to advocate 
going that way. But from here to the next step, you would still get a positive 2 and a 12. And obviously, 2 twelfths would reduce to 1 sixth.